For all those who watched the October 2, 2023 board meeting, you won't be shocked to find out the mayor has fired the deputy clerk, Eris Montgomery. Why? Well, because she stood up for herself to the all-powerful super mayor. It's no secret that Henyar's self-entitlement is very obvious during board meetings. She disrespects anyone she wants, but no one can dare talk to her the way she talks to all those beneath her. And yes, the mayor intentionally has the trustees and clerk actually sit beneath her in board meetings. We can't make this up. We think it's important to applaud the deputy clerk for how she handled herself. After Henyard started the meeting 15 minutes late, she gave the mayor's report first, which was an hour-long defensive rant about how great she is and demanded everyone to respect her for it. Next, we will watch a few clips that led to the deputy clerk's unfortunate dismissal. Approval of minutes for a September 5th. 2023 regular board meeting. That's not on the agenda. It says approval of minutes. It's not on the agenda. So, so why is approval of minutes on here? Normally, just so you know how this go, Deputy Clerk, it has to say the date and the when you guys wanted the minutes. It will have a date by. It's not on the min on the agenda. And if you're paying attention, it's saying Mayor's veto, uh, veto on September 25th, 2023 minutes. So. I said September 5th, not September 25th. Well, it's not and on there. there. And thank you for clarifying, but it's not on there. I so said, hold on. Prior agendas have had approval of minutes without the dates on there. It's not on there, so please move on. Okay. Yes, great point, Aris. In past meetings, the mayor has even given instruction on how to amend a motion to include meeting minutes that weren't included in the agenda. We love providing proof, so here you go. For the record, um, this is what's on the agenda, so you have to follow the agenda. She can amend it, and she can add the other two separately. So I just well, stated um, how I would like to do it. Okay, let's keep watching. So you stated that you won the FOIA case. That judgment isn't until October the 13th, 2023. So that case is still open, for the record. Also, we don't control the Village website. Whatever is posted on the clerk's page, whatever is removed, whatever is added, we have no control over that, just for the record as well. Please take classes to learn how to do your job. I have. Because, hold on, hold on, hold on, Clark. Let me finish. Again, we love backing up statements with facts. Here it is. The deputy clerk and I are active members of the Municipal Clerks Association of Illinois. We have currently attended all the quarterly seminars. Uh, we've also dis attended regional clerk sessions for Cook County. Clearly no one is as educated as Tiffany. Then again, with the amount she spends on going to conferences, she must be a genius by then. Anyway, back to the meeting clips. As it relates to y'all office, and I mean clerk key, because you're the deputy, I need you guys to make sure y'all stop sending things out for FOIA that don't make no sense. Man. We just hate when things don't make no sense. If y'all don't know what y'all talking about, y'all job is to protect the village. Protect the village. Not assume what you think we don't have. Not assume or give you opinion of anything. And please, Deputy Clerk, come to work because you don't be here. Please come to work. And then you will know what you should be giving out because it's many a times you have dropped the ball on foyers that you should have gave to our departments and y'all have not. So therefore, when a FOIA need to go out, people don't even know it exists because you guys haven't given it to the department heads. That's another issue, let alone the issue. But you guys need to get your office in order and stay out of the mess because the clerk ain't nothing but a court reporter. That's what y'all do, report what we do at minute at meetings. But yet y'all get in the mess, y'all go have secret score meetings, y'all call meetings, being disrespectful, walk out, leave. That we bet it's hard to do the clerk's job when the village administrator removes documents and takes away their FOIA website access. Clerk Key has talked about this multiple times in previous meetings. Let's listen. Everything in my office is being funneled into the village administrator's office. He's barely at work, so nothing's getting done. I'm the keeper of the records. Every summon, every piece of letters, anything to come in the village should come through my office first. Unfortunately, it is not. As they don't want my office to know what's going on in Village Hall. We could be getting summons for tons of lawsuits, but I have no idea because they're not coming in my office. So anytime things are taken out of the clerk's office, 
it should be done by way of an amended ordinance. And that ordinance has to be approved by the Board of Problems. Submitting a FOIA, we noticed that our link was removed and replaced with a generic email address. So for that to be removed from my link on the website, I need to understand why. Because now it'll be said, hey, the clerk's just not doing four years period when the clerk's link has been removed. So can you answer that? Tiffany chose not to answer the clerk's question. All right, back to the deputy clerk being awesome. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this very quick because you've already wasted enough of the people's time. As it relates again to the final judgment for the FOIA case, it's October the 13th, 2023. And again, as it relates to the website, the minutes are not on there because we do not control the village's website. Whatever is posted, not posted, added, or removed has nothing to do with the clerk's office. Meetings Act states, we don't follow what you say, Mayor. What the law states is what we write. Check the law, check the statutes, and comprehend it, and you'll see why we write it the way that we do. It is a summary. We have been here for almost two minutes, and we haven't even gone through, I mean, two hours. We haven't even gone through the agenda. Do you expect us to write that word for word? I think you're looking for a transcriber and that is not in our duties. We do not transcribe. If you would like a transcriber, perhaps you should address the board and add it to the budget. But myself nor the village clerk will be transcribing minutes word for word, and that is for the record. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna say this and we're gonna move on. Y'all need to be respectful, and that's the problem here. Everybody, again, wanna clap back, and then when I clap back, everybody got attitude. Be respectful, uh, deputy clerk. And your you problem, hold on, you out of order, you out of I order. Not. Did I you not give you the floor? Deputy seat. clerk, you out of order. I don't want Deputy clerk, you don't respect. Deputy clerk, you're out of order. And that's your problem. People need to learn to stay in their place. Like I gave you the floor, I was quiet. I let you say whatever you want to say. Now you listen to what I got to say. Stop being disrespectful. Stop lying to the people about what it is you in your office should be doing. You're a clerk key. Period. Now that you have witnessed the meeting that caused the deputy clerk to be fired, please listen to the termination letter she received. Dear Ms. Montgomery, on or about October 2, 2023, you engaged in grossly insubordinate and belligerent behavior that was directed at Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Members of the public witnessed your inappropriate behavior and comments. Your actions violated various provisions of the village of Dalton's policies and practices, including, but not limited to the following, one insubordination, two verbal threats, three policy violations, four failure to follow procedures, five, any action which endangers the safety, health, or well-being of an employee or citizen, or which is of sufficient magnitude that the consequences cause or act, to cause disruption of work or discredit to the village, and six, failure to meet performance standards. Every hire and fire has to run through the board. Is that being enforced by the Delgado Group? No. Ms. Montgomery was hired as the deputy clerk in November 2021. A village ordinance states that all hires and fires must go before the board, which clerk key of course followed. She asked the trustees for an email consent vote during the November 1st board meeting. She explained that Aris was highly qualified for this position. We believe Aris's termination is illegal since it did not go before the board. Instead, the mayor fired her for one reason only, because she doesn't like her. All right, let's give the super duper mayor one last chance to explain her actions. They mad because God keep blessing me with things such as I'm your mayor, I'm your supervisor, and he keep blessing me. And like they say, whatever God got for you is for you. Can't no man or woman take it from you. Well, now that's not exactly true. We know one group who are working very hard to take it all from you. TikTok.